Hi, I'm Chris with TechSet and today we are going to be covering how to pair your new VCI with the Exony Lite tablet. So the first thing we're going to do is power up the new VCI so that the tablet itself can see it and we can connect it. One added feature with the Nano is it actually has a light on it so you can see where the OBD port is. So the next step in the process is to turn the ignition on in the vehicle so that the VCI has proper connection. So you can see from here, we're gonna go into the car environment. From here, we're gonna hit the gears. So the gears are gonna be your setting menu. In order to connect it in, we'll hit the little wand. So that's gonna be our little connection wizard. And from here is where you can enter in any of your business information. So what's going to be entered here is exactly what's gonna be on the printed reports. Hit the next button, and now it's going to be searching for tools. So now we can see that the Nano has popped up. All we have to do is just tap it, and it's going to be connecting in. So we have different ways to connect it. If you wanna connect it through USB, you can. If not, we can just connect it through Bluetooth. So now we can see that the Nano has been fully connected. You can see that the Bluetooth is now blue, and we can hit the end the configuration. And now we can see that the tool has been paired. Here we're gonna go into diagnosis, passenger cars, and since this is a Hyundai, we can go down to H, and then run the automatic VIN scan, okay? Now that we can see it's been pulled up, we're gonna run a system scan to ensure complete connection. And now we can see that it has fully connected and it has connected into the vehicle itself. All right, so now that we've finished the system scan, we can hit the print button. And what this will do is it's basically gonna create a report for the vehicle. So we can see that the VIN is populated here. And there we can hit add printing document to PDF file and hit the green check mark. And now that the report is in PDF form, we could either print it, save it, or email it. So let's open it up and check it out. So from here, you can see the top of it. You'll see the workshop data. You'll be able to see the vehicle information and you'll be able to see the system scan. And as you can see on this one, there is no fault on this vehicle. If you wanted to, you could also do this after you've repaired. If there was a fault on this vehicle, you could also hit the print button. It'll say add a PDF, so that way you'll have a pre and post scan depending on your shop needs. So as you can see, the tool has now been fully paired and we can now scan into the vehicle. And that concludes our tutorial on pairing a new VCI with the Exone Nemo Lite. Thank you for watching.